I started working security uh, over a decade ago as a field uh, field officer for um, a contract company. At that point, it was G4S, uh, and I was working at Toronto Community Housing as a community patrol officer uh, through Moss Park, Regent Park, and, and St. Jamestown. Um, through that time, it, it was a, it was a great experience. Really got to know a lot about uh, security and law enforcement in general. Um, and really got into the, the concept that security was uh, not only um, a job, um, but it was also a stepping stone to my future goal of, of becoming a police officer at that time. Um, but it showed that security was also a career path for me as well. And that's really what's uh, what kept me in the industry and uh, makes me realize that every day is another day and every day is a new day. So it's uh, something new every day, which is uh, a great experience. The thing that gives me the most pride is making sure that the the, the center itself and the community it's in, it's in is as uh, safe as possible. Uh, making sure that not only the tenants and the business are protected, but the community itself and really engaging with the community to make sure that um, we're involved with them and they understand uh, the safety components of what we do, whether it be fire safety um, or just personal security safety and really not just responding to the calls, but also interacting with the clients and interacting with the visitors to the center and letting them understand and, and helping to educate them on what they can do better to protect themselves and to protect others. Security from when I first started was, was a lot about making sure that what security did was security. And you go out there and your job was to make sure that everything was safe and secure. Um, more so now, everybody is, is it's, it's not just security, but it's also what the, the path that law enforcement is doing as well is, it's all about community engagement. It's about building those relationships, being that, uh, that focal point, that first face that people see when you're going into a business that can really distinguish between a, a class A company and a class B company when you realize that the person's there to, to not only make you safe and, and secure, but when you're still asking questions about, you know, where's the bathroom or where's this, or can I, can you tell me how to find this place? It's, it's that customer service aspect of making sure that everybody feels welcome and really building that that understanding that the company is, is looking for and, and, and the world is looking for is that we're here to make sure that everybody is having a great time, but also being safe while doing it. It's, it's really hard nowadays to, to say that security is, is gonna be the easiest thing to get into. Um, those class A positions that everybody looks at, they're looking for people who have a lot of experience, with a lot of um, ability and you know work experience. You got to build yourself up from, from from the ground. It doesn't matter if you start off working as a concierge and, and doing security there, but always looking to make sure you're you're bettering yourself day in and day out. Um, taking every opportunity that comes across uh, your table and 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 kind of going with it. Um, I started off as a as a healthcare security guard and went into retail and residential and commercial and kind of went through all the different verticals that were available for me and, and kind of found where my my seating was. Every one of those things helped me build to become who I am. And, you know, you really need to take every opportunity and learn everything that you can from it. Take every mistake, take every positive thing and, and really debrief yourself and realize what you can do to make yourself better for the next day. You really need to hire for what you need. If you're looking to, to get into a position or you're looking to get people into a position for um, concierge work, you want to look at the people who need those first kind of steps in the industry. If you're looking to hire somebody for a tactical position, you're not going to look and hire somebody that, you know, is going to be the person that you would want to stick at a desk. You want to stick somebody into a position that they're right at. It's the old adage of not sticking a, a square peg into a circle hole. Right? You, you need to make sure they fit. You need to make sure that not only they fit in the position, but the position fits them. And really realizing what people's strengths are and working on them and what people's weaknesses are and really working on those. Uh, when I won the top 10 under 40, there was, uh, it was a really big shock for me. I mean, there's, there's so many great professionals in the industry um, of all ages. And, in so many different verticals and so many different organizations that uh, to be told that you you're being selected for that it's a it's a great honor and it's um it was a shock for me with knowing uh, the depth of our industry and the amount of uh, really strong individuals that are in those roles it's 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 a great honor